Can we talk a little bit about the United States and Canada? Since you've worked both sides of the border, um, do you have agents in both places? Oh yeah, I go both ways, honey. Yeah, yeah, I got an <clears throat> agent here. I, I've been going through agents like uh, Kleenex. I've had, it's my second agent in Canada. The first one, she retired. And uh, I got another guy now, Jerry Jordan and Associates. He's, he's my, currently my Toronto agent. And then Los Angeles, they have uh, Michael Green and Associates, who are like a boutique agent or a small agency. I had Susan Smith and company. She's an old Dodger from way back. She passed on a cancer a while back. But the, the difference is that uh, LA is faster. It's like, whoa, you're, you're sitting in the back of a speeding car. And, and the, Toronto's a little more laid back, you know. But, uh, and how did you get your LA agent? Because the ambition of a lot of young performers up here is, you know, I love Canada, it's great, but you know, if I want a career, I have to go to the States, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. And there you're in the back alley at Passamorai, you're not exactly, you know, going down Sunset Boulevard. So <laughs> how did that happen? Well, when I got cast for, uh, which they weren't going to cast me in for the movie Dances with Wolves, which uh, they were, I was originally not going to be cast in. It. But the, uh, the casting director, the late Elizabeth Lustig, she's gone now too, fortunately. And uh, the girls, they ganged up on Kevin and said, look, this guy's right for the part. You've got you to hire him. He's a very experienced actor. He's very experienced. He probably must, must have him. So they got me down there. I was Taft Hartley into Screen Actors Guild, the Taft Hartley bill. I don't know how that works, but it worked for me. But how do they know to get you, the guy from Toronto? As they sent the casting director, she went. She she was very thorough, and she went all over the U.S. and went up to oh, brought and came okay. up to Canada and went all across Canada. Before that, I worked in. Uh, what was I working on then? I was working on another play. I don't, can't remember what it was called. But uh, I said, well, I'll, I'll fly down, met Kevin, and he'd, we talked about it, and Tantu Cardinal was there, and we sort of read the script, read the scene together, and acted a little bit, and uh, he said, ah, all right, we'll hire him. <laughs> So then I got that and I came back and I was doing, uh, working in Ottawa during dry lips and this very strange woman called. She says, hi, I'm Susan Smith. She had a voice like that. I'm from Los Angeles. Oh, do I know you? No, you wouldn't know me anyway, crazy. Listen, I'm an agent down there. I'd love to represent you. I'm coming up. <laughs> You know, you're the, you're the first person from Los Angeles. Look, she said they were coming up. They all said, why don't, why don't I fly down and they'll set up a meeting. Ah, to hell with them. I'm coming up. Where are you? Where are you? Ottawa. Ottawa. Is that anywhere near Stratford? <laughs> you know Stratford? I go there every year. Oh, do you? Okay. Well, we're, we're up at the other end of the country, Mr. Boat. I'll find it. Don't worry. So a couple days later, she shows up. And my Toronto agent, she shows up, and we're all having lunch. Then uh, they're talking back and forth. I slowly edged out of the conversation to let them start talking back and forth. And uh, my Canadian agent, she said, "You know, you got to fly down to Los Angeles and take get get around to meet these people down there." And, and Susan said, "Ha! That's your job, honey. You got to do that for them." And I like this woman. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so she represented me for uh, quite a number of years. It was great. And, uh, so the U.S. came looking for you. Yeah. You didn't go looking for the U.S. Yeah. And because I'm Native North American, I didn't need a visa to work <clears throat> down there. How does that work again? Oh, I, I got my social insurance number in 1969. So Your U.S. social security number? Yeah. And how did you get that? I worked in the States. Okay. I, I was born Canada. here in Canada, but uh, we have, uh, due to, this is the one treaty that 
They never broke. It was called the, the Jay Treaty, which still stands today, obviously, but they're still chipping away at it, trying to figure out how to ruin it. And what's the Jay Treaty? It means that we, I can work across Canada or the United States. I, subject to a lot of things that were handed down from my great-great-grandfathers from through the time since uh, the three boats showed up on shore. And are you Ojibwe? No. No, 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 I'm uh, Oneida. You're Oneida, and they're... My, my dad the was Oneida. traditional territories are the, both in the U.S. and Canada, right? Yeah, the Six and Nations. That's why the Jay Treaty yeah, has works. got some lakes to it. You yeah. Go, Okay. So I didn't need that. I had all that information. And, uh, right. And I got my SAG card, and I got my AFTER card, because they did television down there. And then I got my, geez, I got so many unions I belonged to. I belonged to British Equity. I belonged to Canadian Equity. Uh, AFTER here, and Univer or University of British, uh, British Columbia Union out there. And, but. Uh, I went down there, and I guess the first movie I worked in was, in the States, was uh, Palo Highway. It was back in 19, mid 80s sometime, I don't remember. I can't remember. That's One before the, Dance Us With Wolves? Oh yeah, it was by handmade films. George Harrison's <clears throat> attempt at trying to have a film company and realized, I can't make money at this. You don't make money doing films, indie films. You lose money. It's a tax write-off. So he didn't do it. And uh, anyway, 